Boozy hopped on Twitter and said, they took the album down. What the fuck? That shit was jamming. What's going on? So he can't drop albums because of his troubles? Man, R. Kelly album, I admit, dropped earlier today, and everybody was going crazy online. Some people were listening to it, sharing it, posting it, and I guess that all the streaming platforms realized what was going on, and they quickly deleted all that shit. If you go on any music platform, you cannot find no R. Kelly music. Like, they is not playing with R. Kelly. But I ain't gonna lie. I don't like the shit that he made, like, in his later years. But as far as the 90s and the early 2000s, bro, from 12 Play to the Chocolate Factory, mm. making classes with Biggie, making classes with the Asley Brothers, making classes with Tyrese, writing songs for Michael Jackson. I can go on and on all the shit that R. Kelly did. I can separate the man from the music. A lot of people want to be like, oh, no, I can't listen to him. Look, I get it. Whatever he got sentenced for, he deserved that shit if he did what he did. But as far as the music, I will go in my car right now and be jamming when a woman's fed up. I'll be jamming, step in the name of love. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. So... I feel Boosie. He's like, come on, man. Like, why the hell y'all taking all this shit down? And Boosie, he would defend R. Kelly to the death. And even Boosie, he admit that perverted shit that R. Kelly was doing. But the 30 year sentence, he felt like it was extremely excessive. Especially if the women were participating on their own and they was of age. That's some bullshit. I mean, if they was underage, he's sick as hell. But they was waiting on him to mess up. The same thing with O.J. Simpson. Once he got off that first time, they was waiting for him to do anything or look crazy in any way, and they, they roasted him. Same thing with R. Kelly, man. And I'm never going to stop being a fan, man. What y'all think about this, your boy B? I'm on...